Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by New Stopette, America's leading spray deodorant. The lotion spray deodorant that's like balm to your skin. Ooh, there goes perspiration. Now let's all play What's My Line? <laughs> And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to report that Arlene is back safely from Japan and also back safely from a very dangerous trip to 58th Street, Mr. Fred Allen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a young lady just recently returned from a two-week trip to Japan and bringing good wishes from Mr. Moto to his many American friends, Miss Arlene Francis. I know it is good to be back. It just takes a little time away to make you know how great it is here. And now you're going to meet a gentleman whose American College Dictionary is on the desk of every knowing Japanese, the Right <laughs> Honorable <laughs> Bennett Cerf. Thank you, Eileen. It's mighty nice to have you back. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our live audience tonight is full of top-flight newspaper editors. So it's my pleasure to introduce to them and to you a top-flight news analyst and our irreplaceable panel moderator, John Charles Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line? We're up to uh, the usual tricks tonight, and I'll put the panel's mind at ease immediately. You don't have to put on your blinders right oh, now. You can wait until later on. We're going to have some interesting occupations and some interesting people with us all during the half hour. We'll have a famous guest challenger a bit later on, but I think it's time for these experts of ours to meet the first challenger whose line has to be spotted. So would you come in and sign in, please? <laughs> Sue. Over here, if you will, that's uh, Sue Ford. Is that right? Come on over here. <laughs> you don't have to be afraid of them. Catch you up. <laughs> that means greetings, doesn't it? I hope. I smell a lot. Doesn't it? Oh, well, Aww. let's not go into it then. Uh, actually, you don't have to be afraid of them. Is it Miss or Mrs. Ford? Mrs. Ford? Well, Mrs. Ford, Ford. we like to let the panel have... a. Uh, brief look at you so that we give them a little bit of help before they start having to figure out what you do. So would you take a hike up in front of the panel for me, please? Hello, Mrs. Ford. Hello. Mrs. Ford, how are you? How's Hello. the foundation Hello. going? Over <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> well here. You don't know anybody else who gave away half a billion dollars recently, do you, Fred? <laughs> All right, Not now, at the do rate know... you're going, John. I beg your pardon? Not at the rate you're going with the $50. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, You'll have your life's liberal. work cut out for you. <laughs> I'll be liberal tonight because you're here, Mrs. Ford. Do you know how we score this operation? Mm -hmm. Every time you can give them a no answer to a question, mm -hmm. then we'll flip a card. When we flip 10 cards, you win the game. That's what's important is winning the game. All righty, if you uh, understand the scoring now, let's let the people at home and our friends in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, Mrs. Ford is salaried, and I think since uh, Miss Arlene is just back from Japan and Mrs. Ford has been in America from Japan for only two years, we'll let you start things off, Arlene. Well, I have to be honest and say that she wasn't one of the stewardesses on Japan Airlines, so I don't want that to happen by mistake. Uh, you're not one of the stewardesses on Japan <laughs> Airlines, are you? Uh, yes, Mrs. Ford is not, not one of the... That's right, I yes. See. 
Do you work for a profit-making organization, Mrs. Ford? Mm -hmm. You do? That's nice for you. I like it that way. Uh, do you work in any capacity for the Japanese government? No. One down and 90 go, Mr. Turner. They haven't made any profit lately. <laughs> Mrs. Ford, do you uh, work in an office? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, does your work uh, bring you in contact with both men and women? You mean uh, as a fundamental of the work that she does or just in the casual way that we all come in contact with people? Well, we can be as casual as you like, John, as long as I don't get a no. Well, I would say in a casual way that Mrs. Ford would meet both men and women as we might all do in our work, yes. If you don't work in an office, do you work in any enclosure? Yes. Uh, you're, in other words, somewhere except the great outdoors. That's right. Uh, does, is this enclosure ever above or below the ground, rather than just on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Well, do you deal in services? Yes. You do deal in services. Uh, when you dispense these services, do you wear a uniform other than in the dress you have on now? No. Small conference. Well, four down and six to go. Miss Francis. I haven't even been to Japan. I'm, I'm just as wrong as that. She does not. No, she, um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Ford works in, in street clothes. I yes. see. Uh, is there anything artistic about the line of work that you are involved in? <laughs> Well, Japanese now, are pretty I artistic, you know. Miss Arlene, I think this is one about which there'll be some argument, but I would have to rule as an issue of fact that this is not an artistic achievement. That would make it no. five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. M Mrs. Ford, uh, there are a lot of Japanese food specialties that we enjoy in this country. Have you anything to do with food or drink? Yes. Would your work be connected in any way with some kind of a restaurant or tea room? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, do you uh, manage or wait in a, some kind of a no. place that serves food? Nope. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, are you connected with a restaurant in any way? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Is it a restaurant that serves sukiyaki? No. Seven down and three to go, <laughs> Mr. Allen. What kind of a restaurant is it that doesn't serve sukiyaki? <laughs> <laughs> All restaurants serve sukiyaki. If you wouldn't, if, if you wouldn't consider me rude, Fred, no. the kind of restaurants that would not serve sukiyaki would serve skiyaki, which is the way it's pronounced. Those are. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. I'm sending out for an interpreter. What did you say, bozo uh, or dozo? Dozo. Is it not a Japanese uh, restaurant? No. It isn't. Yes, it is not a Japanese restaurant. That's is it right. an American restaurant? An American restaurant? No. Eight down and two to go. Can't be Francis? an Italian restaurant, I hope. <laughs> it just happens to be that, of course. Really? <laughs> and then a pasta uh, do, you, do you have something to do behind the scenes in an Italian restaurant? Yes. Are uh, you the cook, son? Mm -hmm. You are the uh, chef, the cook in the Italian restaurant? Must I find out well, about I the spaghetti? Oh, I just thought of something mm -hmm. terribly funny. What, Miss? Could we have a conference? Mercy. Yes, you've got five seconds for a Maybe conference. Maybe she makes pizzas. She makes pizzas! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Allen. How can you eat a pizza with chopsticks? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know, Fred. I guess you get down to table level and push. Fine. If you dare. You can eat anything with chopsticks. Sure See, you can. Actually, you can, can't you? Mrs. Ford, if you know, if you're really proficient with chopsticks, you can eat anything, including oysters or... Have you ever seen a one-man Chinaman eating an olive with a chopstick? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe Mrs. Ford signed the Japanese pizza treaty. <laughs> Oh, no. And on that happy note, Mrs. Ford, our thanks for being a wonderfully engaging guest on What's My Line. It's nice of you to come and see us.
Ashley Bennett. Mrs. Ford is in a restaurant up in Mount Kisco, which you might know. It's at your home village, Ciro's, and she cooks all the pizza pies. Well, that's why they taste that way. <laughs> yeah, because they taste like sukiyaki. All right, a very good beginning, panel. Let's get back to the beginning and see what you can do with a second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please, sir? Lloyd G. Farrar. Is that right, sir? Where are you from, Mr. Farrar? San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Fine. And you have a clack in the house tonight. Congratulations. So will you take the tour down in front of what we call the panel? Huh? Well, the panel Hello, Mr. Farrar. Hi, down here. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Farrar. How's Geraldine? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Farrar, right Reinhardt. here. Join me, if you will. Do you know how we keep Reinhardt. score? Yes, I do. All right, if you know how we keep score, let's let everybody at home and everybody here know exactly what your line is. That is, everybody except the panel. <laughs> All right. Mr. Farrar is salaried. And let's begin the general questioning with Frederick Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Farrar, is there a uh, product associated with what you have to do, what you do? Is there a product involved? Yes, actually the service is fundamental, and uh, we don't want to mislead you, but there is a product involved, the identification of which would undoubtedly help you determine the service that was um, performed. Mm -hmm. John, do you think if... Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Do you think if, if ignorance was catching that I would be a carrier? <laughs> I think you would be. Well, uh, there is a product involved, Mr. Farrar. Mm -hmm. Is this a product that I might uh, be able to hold in my hands? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I think this would be a little I bit... I couldn't or wouldn't, you mean? Well, I don't think you could, and I doubt that you would, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. No. Is this a large product? Yes. Uh, is it uh, on land? No. Two down a date to go, Mr. Surf. Well, Mr. Farrer in San Diego is a great Navy Yard base. Uh, would this be something connected with the Naval base in San Diego? No. Three down and seven to go, <laughs> Miss Kilgallen. Do you work for a profit-making organization? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. You work from some branch of the government? Yes. I is it the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Is it, I'm not going to take a wild guess because this is the only guess I, I can think of. It. Is, uh, do you work for the Navy, a branch of the Navy? No. That no. makes it five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Now, but the product, to get back to that, is it a product that can go on or into water? Yes. Uh, is it something that one gets into, this product? <laughs> no. You don't get into it. No, I, there was actually some business about it getting into it, but I, I don't think we have, no. <laughs> no. No, I don't think we can buy that. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Farrer, is the fact that the motorboat show is now running in New York account in some way for your presence here? No. That's oh, seven down and three to go, Miss <laughs> Gilgallon. Is this product, to get back to the product, uh, is this anything that is ever alive yes. or could be alive? Yes. Is it, oh, is it mammal rather than fish? Yes. Is it very large? Yes. Is it a whale type mammal? Yes. yes. And you have something to do with whales? Yes. yes. Um, yes. Do, but you work for a non-profit making organization. Mm -hmm. Well, then that couldn't be that perfume bit with the ambergris, could it? We want to put that bit no. in? No. You don't want to put that bit in. <laughs> what else? I can't think of anything else you do with a whale. Uh, do you have... <laughs> I'm sure it's of you, Dorothy. <laughs> Stay away from Well, do you have now. any... <clears throat> do you have anything to do with um, capturing them, if I may use the word? No. no. That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Allen. Is he a harpoon designer? A harpoon designer. <laughs> <laughs> Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. I read in the paper something about 
uh, Wales just a few days ago. Has it recently been in the paper what you have to do with Wales? Well, Wales was in the paper recently. Not yes. W-A-L-E-S, uh, Old England. Oh, you mean the one with the H I mean, it? was there a story concerned with your work that was recently in the papers? I don't, don't know, you know if it's been in the New York papers. Or it's not. a possibility, it's but possibility. we can't uh, confirm twice, it. Twice for God, for country, and for Wales. <laughs> it, you don't have anything to do with helping the Wales propagate for some reason. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Turn down and no more to go. Sure is. <laughs> but there is something that was just in the paper. It's driving me mad. Well, actually, Mr. Farrar works for the uh, fire, the, the Fish and Wildlife Service, and he has a very interesting job. He counts whales. A whale count. <laughs> Yes, that has absolutely something to do with what my statement was. <laughs> John, who has to know how many whales there are? The fish, the fish and Wildlife Service. Are the whales? Well, actually, the whaling industry is very, very complicated, and I believe you, you correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. They have a fish newspaper, and the fish read in school about how many whales there are. Now, actually, there's a controlled catch, isn't uh, there? On this type of whale, it's been restricted to, to taking them uh, uh, since about 1930. What They've type been, of whale? It's the California gray whale. That comes down from the Bering Sea uh, just in three months out of the year. It's January, February, and March. They come down. Uh, they've almost uh, been extinct. They were down to 100 at one time. And now they're just gradually coming back up to where there's oh, approximately about 5,000. And they're taking a census on these whales so that the eventual aim of it will be to open up whaling on them again so that they can be taken. There whale you are. Whale. Yes, indeed, Mr. Allen. Would you think all of Mr. Fry's uh, whales will go to see Moby Dick when it opens? <laughs> <laughs> Could be, Miss Kilgallen. I was just wondering how you knew you weren't counting the same one twice. Oh, he recognized him. It's like, you know, when you get familiar, you've got a lot of dogs. You go, one is Charlie, one is Ben, one is Harry. Here in the whale game, you know. <laughs> well, Mr. Farrar, thanks. We had a load of fun and a wonderful <laughs> Well, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first here is a message from Stop Ed. The only thing better than one bottle of Mr. Stop Ed is two of them, especially when that second bottle is absolutely free. For a limited time, with every large bottle of new Mr. Stop Ed for men, we give you this 47-day Mr. Stop Ed free. Now you can stop snitching your wife's deodorant. No more sissy stuff. No more fancy perfumes. Now you can get the only deodorant with real manpower. Manpower created for a man, by a man, by Dr. Jules Montagnier, whose years of scientific experience make him singularly expert in providing for the special needs of the active man. Use daily the manpower in Mr. Stoppette stops odor, checks perspiration every time for every man. Yet it can't harm clothes. Even the aroma is he-man and masculine. And now you can get an extra supply of this man-size protection absolutely free when you buy the large size Mr. Stoppette for men. This special offer also applies to famous regular Stoppette. With the large Stoppette spray deodorant, you get a free miniature bottle of Stoppette lotion spray. You get both bottles, the large size and the 47-day size for only a dollar and a quarter plus tax. But hurry! Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded. The blindfolds are all in place, I see, panel, right? Yes, yes sir. Then will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you a performer? Uh, no, can't tell whether called performer, I very uh, <laughs> You know, uh, Gaspardin Deli, I very serious the artist. Yes, he said. <laughs> you don't can speak much better now, yes. Mr. Allen? Are you in uh, television? In which? Television. 
No, sometimes yes, sometimes no, you know. <laughs> God for keep finger, you know, in every eye in my business. You in know. every eye, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Looks like you've got a yes or no to that, Mr. Allen, Miss Francis. Sounds like he makes pizzas, too. <laughs> <laughs> Russian pizza. He's the one that makes skiaki. Uh, are you in the motion picture business? Yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes, yeah. You got to be for illegitimate sometimes, too, you know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir. He laughed. Uh, are you, uh, do you ever play very, very tough parts? <laughs> uh, well, you know, my business sometimes sweet, sometimes sour, you know, uh, you should not can tell, you know, for make living, God do everything. <laughs> All right, Mr. Gilgallan. Have you ever played Shakespeare? Uh, uh, sometimes, yes, yes, but overcome these sins already for many years. <laughs> Are you? Uh, I heard that that uh, that Orson Welles is changing changing King Lear to Ankles Away. What <laughs> you say? I heard that Orson Welles was changing changing King Lear to Ankles Away. Oh, make a uh, very personal his performance every time. Are you in a in a show that's currently on Broadway? You got for what? Are you in a show that? <laughs> Are you are you in a show that's from Broadway now? No, 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 no. no. Miss no. Hope, <laughs> hope maybe. Oh. Hope maybe. Miss Francis? Well, I can only tell you that the gentleman laughed a couple of questions back and gave himself away, and I think Bennett knows who it is, too. Do you have a magnificent art collection in your home, and are you a man by the name of Edward G. Oh. Dynamite yeah. Robinson? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Well, the wonderful thing is, I, I don't know how true it is all around the nation, but certainly those of us who are in the New York area read some very good news in the paper today that you're coming back to the legitimate stage, which you've described as good. necessary sometimes, with yes, a new I'm, play. Yes, I'm coming back to where I started. Uh, and I'm coming back in a very wonderful play written by a magnificent writer, Patty Chayefsky, who's my favorite... Uh, a uh, playwright of the moment, you know, and I think he's great, and done by the, uh, directed by the magnificent Mr. Josh Logan. And I think I'm coming back in the very happy auspices. When, when, what is happening? You're going to open, well, not in New York immediately. No, we're opening in Wilmington this coming week, and on the 23rd, we open in Philadelphia for two weeks, and then we come back here on February 8th to the Anthem Theater. Well, I would say that with Messrs. Robinson, Logan, and Chayefsky, these are the most wonderful auspices in the world. Well, thank you. It's wonderful thank to meet you, sir. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Buddy, I think we're a little bit short of time, panel, but let's see if you can't uh, tackle another challenger. Would you come and sign in, please, ma'am? Right there, please. Kara? Kara, Jocelyn, is that right? How are you? Uh, this I know is a strange world to you, but these... There's the camera that's looking at you right oh, now. Yes. And you take a look at it and don't bother about the panel because I'm not going to send you for that walk. We're a little late in time, so if you come over and sit down with me, we'll just tell the panel where you're from. Where is that? Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Wonderful. Will you sit down now? That's it. Are you familiar with how we score? This uh, program, you give a no answer and I flip one of these, you see, and you get yes. ten of these and you have won everything, hands down. Hmm? All righty, then let's let the folks... The whoop, whoop, and do. Let's let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. All righty, and now, would you mind sitting up just a little bit closer, Mrs. Jocelyn? Panel, you have something like, ooh, a minute and 45 seconds. Oh. So I'll tell you that Mrs. Jocelyn is self-employed. We'll begin with Bennett, sir. 
Is there a product connected with what you do, Miss Jocelyn? Like Is there a product connection connected with no. what you do? Well, I think I would have to correct it. Huh? You don't want to? Yes. All right, sure. There is. There is a product connected. The service well, would need a product to be delivered. All right, I'll put it back. I just thought you wouldn't see me do it, Betty. <laughs> uh, is this something that you make yourself, Miss Jocelyn? Now it goes over and it okay. stays there. Isn't that lovely? Well, fine. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you work with your hands, Mrs. Jansen? You work with your hands? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you create or change something? I would say an end result of what you did was to change something. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, is something better off because of what you do with your hands? Something or somebody? I would think something is something, yes. You know, it's a little... It's, yes, wouldn't you? Is this product useful? Is it useful, the product? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it also have a decorative aspect? Does it have a decorative aspect? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Would it be found in the home? Would it be found in the home? Yes. Yeah. Could you carry it around with you from one room to another? You could, but you'd look pretty silly, and we just ran out of time. <laughs> Actually, we wanted you to meet Mrs. Jostin, even though we didn't have much time, because she's a wonderful 86 years young, and she's a paper hanger and works at it. Oh, no. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and I'm sorry we didn't have more time. We were in the full Wonderful to have you with us. And hope you'll come and see us again. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. And this <laughs> We'll be back in just a moment. But first, here is a word from Stop It. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Stop It. Isn't it wonderful? For a limited time, we give you a generous 47-day bottle of Stop It spray deodorant absolutely free when you buy the large size Stop It. Think of all the uses you'll have for this extra bottle for travel, dresser top, guest room, or just as a handy spare. Imagine 47 extra days of famous Stop It protection free. Poof! There goes perspiration. There goes odor for all day. Today's improved stop at formula is even more effective. Its lotion ingredients are even kinder to skin and fabrics. Certainly bundle up in this winter weather, but just be sure you start with stop at. You need it under your heavy winter clothes, just as you do in summer, oftentimes more. Folks who've tried others always come back to stop at. They found it never lets you down. So whatever you do, don't miss out on your free bottle of stop at. Buy the large size Stop At lotion spray and get the miniature free. Or buy the large size Mr. Stop At for men and get a free miniature bottle of Mr. Stop At. You get both bottles, the large size and the 47 day size, for only $1.25 plus tax. And now, before our panel says good night, I'd like to invite you to tune in again next Sunday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when once again we invite you to play What's My Line. For other localities, check your local listings for the date and time of our weekly series. And now a word from next week's sponsor. Throughout the world, only one company produces all types of business machines and systems. Remington Rand. Creators of over 50 typewriter models, more than 60 kinds of photocopying and microfilming equipment, 80 adding machines and printing calculators, and a complete line of electronic computing systems. Remington Rand, manufacturers of over 20,000 products to serve the world of business. And just in case you all don't know it, don't forget Miss Dorothy Kilgallen will be on Person to Person next Friday night with all her wonderful family. So good night until next Friday, Miss Dorothy. Thank you, John. Good night, Fred. Good night, Dorothy. We're a little late, Arlene. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara, Bennett. <laughs> don't go chasing after that paper hanger, John. Well, good night. <laughs> good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. <laughs> Travel arrangements on What's My Line are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagships.